Okay, that's good. All right, that's good. I think we're live. Awesome. Okay, so today we are going to talk about long division. 2, 11, 21. All right, so our objective is really going to be dividing polynomials. So when we divide polynomials, they're going to follow the exact same rules as, as long division would be for anything. So what I like to do is start off with a really simple problem. And we're going to take 431 divided by 5. So I'm going to go 5 goes into 431, right? So if I'm going to take a look at example 2, I'm going to try and mirror these two, okay? I'm going to try and do them together, okay? So I'm going to take x plus 2 into 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So I want to do these two problems together because the steps are exactly the same, okay? Hmm. Probably should, should have changed this problem. That's okay. Let's make this a 9. Let's make that a 9. I'm going to change that to a 9. You guys okay changing that to a 9? I should have made that a 9. It's okay. We're going to do it right now. So how do we do it? Well, you guys know how to do this one. You look at 5, and you say 5 goes into 9. How many times, right? So 5 goes into 9 one time. Everybody agree with that? So you put the 1 up here, OK? So I'm going to put 1 up here. So same thing. x. x goes into 3x squared. Don't worry about the 2, but x. Just don't worry about the 2 yet, but x goes into 3x squared times. Well, if you can't quite do that, I always say do some division on the side. So a little, little side division, 3x squared divided by x. And maybe it's easier to see. Some kid, boom, they can see right up that. But x goes into 3x squared. Hopefully you guys see that it goes in 3x times. Okay, so just like 5 went into 9 one times, x goes into 3x squared times 3x. Okay, again, I'll show you. 5 went into 9 one time. So you wrote the 1 up here. And then x goes into 3x squared 3x times, right? Now, technically, we don't do this, but technically you'll go 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is 5, right? And then you subtract, right? So we do the same thing here. We're going to take then 3x 3x times x makes a 3x squared. And a 3x times 2 makes a positive 6x. And then we subtract. Same exact process. So, OK, let's see what happens. Am I going too fast, or how am I doing? Am I doing OK? So then up here, just 9 minus 5. That's easy. That's 4, right? And we do the same thing with this one, with the polynomial, okay? So 3x squared minus 3x squared, that's just gone. And now we've got to be careful. This is subtract. we got 2x minus 6. So what I try and do, just to be careful, is I try and bring the negative through, okay? So I'm going to bring this negative through so I don't make a dumb mistake, because I make dumb mistakes all the time, right? You guys know me. So I try and bring the negative through, right? Right? So I'm going to actually subtract. So 2x minus 6x makes a negative 4x, right? Okay. All right. So then up on the top one, what do we do next? We bring the 3 down, right? You guys, you know that, right? We bring the 3 down, bring the 3 straight down. 3 down, so 3. And then here, same thing. We're going to bring down the negative 5. How am I doing? So it's the exact same process. Okay, then, okay, 5 goes into 43 eight times, right? I'm going to go 8. And then on this one, x goes into negative 4x. x goes to negative 4x, well, negative 4 times. Goes in negative 4 times. And if you're not sure, again, you can do a little division on the side. You say, well, wait a minute, Mr. I'm confused, but negative 4x divided by x. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's negative 4, right? A little side division. That helps. Okay, then, same thing. What you do up here? Well, you knew that 8 times 5 was 40, right? 8 times 5 is 40, so you put the 40 down here. And you subtract. 
Same process here. We're going to take the 4 times the x, and I'm going to get a negative 4x. And my negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8. So up above, if I subtract 43 from 40, I get a 3. And on this one, if I subtract, I'm going to subtract, right? We've got to be careful. I'm going to subtract, right? Double negatives, right? Double negatives, double negatives. So really, I'm going to make that a plus and that a plus, right? Because it's double negative. So I'm going to subtract. That's gone, and I'm left with a 3. Oh, coincidence. I kind of like that. Okay, now. We are not in fourth grade math. In fourth grade math, you'd go remainder three, right? We're not going to do that. No, 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 no. We're going to say the answer is 18 and three-fifths, right? Remember that from sixth grade math? And three-fifths. 18 and three-fifths is my answer. Boom. So I took the three, which is my remainder, over the dividend, right? We'll do the same thing here. My answer, my answer is a 3x minus 4 plus 3 over x plus 2. There's my answer. Okay, let's do one more. If you guys catch up, we'll do one more, okay? So it's the exact same thing as long division, except for it's got x. Okay, okay. next one, okay? Example 3. So we're going to divide. This is just one more problem, just so we get better at it. Got an x squared plus x divided into x cubed plus 4x squared minus 4x plus 5. Okay? So, we look at the first terms, right? So, x squared. We don't divide by the x, but the x squared. x squared goes into x cubed x times. x squared goes into x cubed x times. And again, if you have a hard time seeing that, then I would say just do, do a little side division. Say, well, what is x cubed divided by x squared? And hopefully you can say, oh yeah, Mr. Davies, x is canceled. It's just next, right? Okay, then we multiply. Am I going too fast? Am I okay? Okay, good. So multiply that times that, that times that does give me an x cubed plus an x squared, right? And we're going to subtract. Subtract. I've got to subtract both. So x squared minus x squared is gone. And 4x minus, and I like to bring the negative in, right, so I don't mess up. Minus makes a 3x, right? So I get a 3x here. 4x minus a 1x makes a 3x squared. And we bring down the next term. Bring down the next term. So my negative 4x. And then we'll do it again. So x squared goes into 3x squared three times. Hopefully you see that. And if not, if you don't, then you can do a little side division, but plus 3. Well, I was going to try to stay with green, huh? Plus 3. And again, if you're not sure on the division, you can do your side division. You say, well, what is 3x squared divided by x squared? Go, oh, yeah, 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 that's 3. I can see that. That's 3, definitely. So then... I'm going to multiply again. Same process, right? That times that, that times that. I'm going to get a 3x squared plus a 3x, right? I'm going to subtract. So i got to be careful. I'm going to subtract because I'm going to be subtracting here also. So what I do is I just change the signs. So I get messed up. I bring the negative through. Bring the negative through, bring the negative through. I always do that because I, I make mistakes. Um, cancels, and then this is a negative 4x and a minus 3x makes a negative 7x. I'm going to bring down this, the 5. And now, just like 5 doesn't go into 3, and just like x doesn't go into 3, this is the same thing. x squared does not really go into 7x. In fact, if you try and divide it, it won't work. If you try and go negative 7x divided by x squared, it's not a very good answer. So you're done. This is my remainder. So this is my remainder. 
Okay? But we don't leave it as a remainder. We can't do that. So what we do is we do this exact same process where we took the answer and then we made the remainder into a fraction. We take the remainder over what we divided by, scoot it up, take the remainder over what we divided by, so the same answer here. I'm going to say, okay, here's my answer. X plus 3 plus my remainder over what I divided by. Okay, that is long division. Yuck, huh? Nobody likes division. Hmm. Not so bad, is it? Okay, so I don't have a lot of these for you to